Hey, this is Andrew Brown. In this video, what we're going to take a look at is setting up diagnostic um, settings for Azure AI services so that we can uh, keep track of what things are going on. So over here on the left-hand side, once you click into your Azure AI service uh, that we created in a previous video, we can go ahead and add diagnostic settings and we can send things to a log analytics workspace and to a storage account. So I'm gonna recommend that we go ahead and create ourselves those two things. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to storage accounts and we're gonna go and create a new one here. So this will be for, I'll make a new one here. This will be um, AI die settings, just so that we're not getting confused. And I'll just call this my storage dig settings and put some numbers here on the end. Uh, doesn't like how long it is. So I'll just reduce that there. We'll just say my, you know, just make it a unique name, whatever you have to do. I'm gonna deploy this in West US because that's where I've been putting everything. Standard is totally fine. We'll go ahead and hit review and create. And that will allow us to create it. And while that is creating, we're going to want a log analytics workspace. So we'll go over to log analytics workspaces. And we'll create a new one and we'll go to here and we'll say my log analytics or my log dig three three two whatever i don't really care what it's called we'll go ahead and create that and hit that and those two are now going while that is occurring i'm gonna go over to our um, azure ml studio remember that we created this in our setup video I wanna start this up because we're gonna to want to have some data triggered that we're going to observe. And so this just takes a lot of time to start up. And so I figured as we're creating these, as that's deploying, as this is deploying, uh, we can then um, uh, get this running here as well. So these are both deploy. I'm gonna go back to this setting here. And I think we're gonna to have to refresh this. So I'm gonna go back here, say, okay. And then we'll try this again. And we'll send them over here. This one's going to go to this one. And then this one's going to go to that one. I'm going to send all data. I'll just say my dig uh, 3242. Just match it, the number up here. And so that looks good to me. We'll go ahead and save that. And so now I'm just waiting for this to start. And so we'll, once it starts, we'll launch up our Jupyter Labs notebook and try to trigger um, some data, okay? All right, so that's now running. We're gonna go here and start up a Jupyter Lab notebook. Give this uh, environment a moment to load. Say build, that's totally fine. And uh, just open up the translator simple in the AI translator directory. So I'm just gonna navigate back to here. You should still have this. If you do not have this, we have it at the Azure examples repository here under translator. You just download this and you're going to upload this uh, into here using the upload button from your local computer. Uh, once this is ready, just watch the CPU there. As this starts up, it always has a little bit of trouble at the start here. Again, we are running on the cheapest possible option because we're just running API endpoints. It's gonna drop there at one point. We'll go ahead and go down here and just run these. And so now we have some translated output. I'm gonna go ahead and just make some changes here. So how are you today? What is the weather like? Did you have a good sleep? There is a rock under my couch or coach, whatever. Um, and so we have uh, some data there. That should be sufficient for us to see something. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go here, refresh, click on here, and we're gonna stop that so we're not wasting uh, any money here. And the idea is that with our settings saved, we should be able to see something here. Now, it might take a bit of time, so what I'm gonna suggest is we wait here for a few minutes, and then we'll go take a look, okay? All right, let's go take a look and see if we can see any data. So I'm gonna make my way over to storage accounts. 
And our new one here is this My Store Diagnostics. If we go over to metrics, maybe we can go down to something like transactions. And notice we have um, five because we triggered, I think, it five times. If we wanted to get that data, we could go ahead and just export it there. Um, and there's nothing super exciting. If you want to open it up, it's very boring data, but uh, um, we have some information. The other thing we want to go take a look is in log analytics. So let's make our way over to log analytics, which we might already have open somewhere here. Excellent. Um, and I'm trying to think where we do this because we want to run a query. Let's go to logs here. Give me a moment, I don't remember. No, I think this is where it is. It just used to be called something else. So that's throwing me off and I don't remember that being there, but okay, here we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, and so in here is where we can do something and just click off of here and then we can just write our own uh, query. So uh, I'm just thinking here, mm, because it's coming from Azure AI. So let's see, it was, it was like Azure, Ah, there we go, Azure Diagnostics. And then we have the pipe here, and then we can type in where resource provider equals um, Microsoft. And I believe, Microsoft, I believe that this one would be, I think it's all in caps actually, Microsoft, I believe this would be cognitive services because that's what Azure AI services used to be called. So I'm gonna go ahead and just type that in. So cognitive services, this is my best guess. Um, and we'll see if this returns any information. So nothing found, hmm. So let me go look it up. Okay, I'll be back in just a moment. All right, so what I've done here is I've just gone to the queries and I was looking for Azure Diagnostics. I just said find an Azure Diagnostics, so find to search a specified value. Um, and so the idea was I was hoping that it would return something, but here it's going Microsoft Container Service. So maybe, hmm, let me go figure this out, okay? All right, so I know that this is correct. I mean, I don't think this is case sensitive, um, but this, should return information. I'm just not sure, maybe the data is not propagating yet, um, but just give me a moment and just keep peeking around here for a bit. All right, so, you know, I've done more research and this worked before. So this is Azure for you. Something will work one time and the next time it won't. Uh, I think maybe the issue could be propagation. So it could be that we need to wait a period of time before um, that will take effect. It's a bit confusing here because also they say like there's classic and then there's new and then there's also newer, newer log analytics. I'm not sure if this is going to make much of a difference. Um, but uh, I suppose we can go here. I mean, we don't have any tables. So I don't know if that's our problem because if there are no tables, maybe there's no data. Just, just a moment. Another thing I'm wondering is that we have log, log analytics here, but could we find log analytics from another perspective? Sometimes when you go here, um, you can get information this way, right? And when we go open query, hmm, no, that's not what we want. That's Azure Resource Graph Explorer. Um, I'm going to click into here. No, that doesn't really help that much. I mean, we have tables here. No, that's not going to help either. So yeah, I'm not sure. Um, but when I originally did this lab, I was able to create the data and utilize what we have here. And it could take me multiple tries. I'm gonna tell you, this is like my fourth time doing this lab because I keep running into issues. Um, and I'm kind of getting a bit fatigued with it. So I would say this is probably the best that we can do here, but just understand that those are means to which you can uh, set up logging. I'm gonna get rid of um, this log analytics group because I don't need it any longer. Before I do that, I'm gonna go back to our Azure AI service. And I want to go into diagnostic settings. 
And I'm just going to get rid of these settings here. And we'll go to storage accounts. And we're going to delete. And we'll say delete. And we'll go over to log analytics. And type in log analytics. And for some reason, the search is not working properly. I'm not sure why. I just want to go to analytics, log analytics. And I can't even get back to them right now. So I'll go to resource groups. Sometimes Azure is just like this. It's just difficult. And we have them in here. So if I just delete this, this will tear down all the resources. Yeah, that's what I wanted to get rid of. But for some reason today, I'm typing up there. It's just refusing to work. So we'll delete the resource group. And that's going to take down everything we created here. Um, and so there you go. That's how you do diagnostic settings. And uh, yeah, there you go.